Hey guys, how's it going? Virik here, another wizard quad kiting video. Uh, this time I'm out in Tremultuous Deeps. Um, I left the dwarfs and butcher block at 48. I stayed there. I couldn't really find a good spot, and the dwarfs were just too good. They will be missed. But right now, um, I am quad kiting the Spirox out here um, at 51, which I am right now. I got Pillar of Frost, which was a huge upgrade from Circle of Forest. I mean, um, the difference is huge. Circle of Forest on these guys was doing about 10% damage. Pillar of Frost is doing 35 to 40% damage. So it's a huge upgrade. I also got a new AoE snare that I actually don't use that much. It costs a little more mana, and I kill these guys so fast that I don't need it. It's not like um, how it was where... I had to snare on these guys at least uh, two to three times per quad. So um, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a circle of force so you can see what the difference is. It, and it's pretty big. So, but this is where I'm at right now. Um, this place gets kind of busy sometimes. Uh, right now it's fairly open. But you can't really claim it from what I'm understanding. It's just when people show up, they just pull whatever. So it's not like you claim this spot and then it's yours but there's plenty of stuff to pull there's a couple of rumors on the ground and i'll run around and show you um a few other places that i pull from um if there are more than a couple people here but if there's nobody here i get these guys right here and then i pull them along the shoreline here i round them up and pull them back and kill them but let's go ahead and give this a go Also, the guys you want need you need to watch out. I'll just go ahead and pull him since he's close. Guys you need to watch out for are the Spiric Pro Provins, I think they're called. Uh, they can backstab, and it hurts. So you'll, I would be really careful and don't let them get too close to you because uh, death comes quickly if they land a couple backstabs on you. So... Pretty much how I do it here, I just pull the guys who are closest to the bridge and then I'll get them over here uh, next to the shore. There's not really any roamers over here. Nah, it looks like they're rounded up good enough. So I got them all snared. Now I want you to see the difference between the old spell, Circle of Force, and the new one, um, Pillar of Frost, it's a huge difference. So, so you can see it's doing like on the light foots uh, about 10 or 11 percent. Now, watch on the Pillar of Frost, it's a huge difference. As you can see, usually it takes four nukes to take down a quad. It's nice. This is a huge upgrade. So new wizards who are getting pretty bummed out over your crappy uh, circle of force, just wait until you get to 51. It's it's like so much faster, and I'm not completely oom um when I'm done with the pull. Um, it's very nice. And you don't have to re-snare over and over again. Yeah, I really like it. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, Pillar of Frost is amazing. And if, I believe it's 53 or so, or 54, we get a new one that does a little more damage. But this place has been great. As I said, um, the only time uh, it gets kind of crappy is if there's more than three people hunting here, then um, it slows down. But I'll show you the, a few of the places where you can pull from. Um, there is a hut up here, and there's usually one that spawns in it. So you can pull him with your flux staff. You can pull that guy up there with your flux staff. Uh, there's a roamer here. There's a hut up here with one in it. Another one that roams down around in there. And there are uh, other various ones. Usually one up here on the platform, and you know few here and there but um 
I'll show you this one over here. So there's a guy spawns down here and he walks back and forth and a, and a guy up there. So there's plenty of stuff to pull if there's only, you know, two, three people. But as soon as it gets more than that, it, it just, there's not enough spawns. But um, that's pretty much it. This place is uh, really good. The experience is really good. It's very easy to quad. At 48, though, I will say it's rough um, on the resist. But after when I hit like 49 or so, it was smooth sailing. Um, the light foots have greened out, but um, the watchers and provens um, are still blue to me. Oh, no, actually, he's green too. So they're starting to green out. I'm probably going to stay here until 52, and then at 52, I'm going to try to find a new spot. Um, I have some ideas, and I've went around and explored them a few times, but a lot of them are pretty booked up with people. So I'm going to try to find some spots that are out away from everyone. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, good spot. Stay at Dwarfs until 48. Come here and get to 51, and you get your new quad spell. I mean, it's 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 from what I've heard from the higher level wizards, it's smooth sailing from from here once you get your new pillar spell. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, and I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I got kind of burned out, so I took a break, but. I'm going to try to push on through to 60. I heard the real grind starts at 52. So when I get to 52 and I find a new spot, I'll go ahead and make a new video showing where I'm at and what I have found. Um, oh, real quick, these guys do drop a, a, a few things. They drop words and some like dust stuff. And they drop gold and sometimes a platter. So, But, um, yep, I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, I'll, I'll try to make one here shortly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good one. See you later.